Okay, so quadrupeds, like most animals, are built on what's called mirror symmetry. That means that one side, like for example, our arm on one side, our left arm, is mirrored as it's copied to the other side. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do that here today. The advantage of using this method uh, is that when you get done, you'll have a copy on the other side that looks exactly the same, but we're going to change the pose of the other leg to make it look just a little bit different. Because animals don't always stay with their legs exactly cop copied from one to the other side and not, ex not moved at all. They're copied from the other side, but they do move to other poses. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. So probably where you're at is you have maybe the body of your animal, which is this red box. And then you have these other shapes that represent a leg, either a front leg and a back leg, including this hip here. So this is the back of the lion. And so what I'm going to do, first of all, we have to figure out a way to grab only the stuff that we want mirrored. So here's one way. Let me show you one method. There's a bunch of them. The shift is a modifier key, which gets rid of certain things. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to grab all of this stuff. And unfortunately, I'm going to get that red box, which I don't want to copy and mirror that. So here's how you get rid of it. If you hold down shift and click the red box, now you've only got the rest of it, which is just the leg that you want. If you want to find out if you've got the right stuff, you could move it and then go up here and go to undo to get it back where it was. It looks like from that, I, I had it selected. Oh, unfortunately, that deselects it. Never mind, that's a bad idea. So I'm going to do this and hold down shift and get rid of it. Another way to do it is, is to click them one at a time, holding down shift all along. So I click one, hold down shift, click another, I'm still holding down shift, I'm still holding down shift, and I'm still holding down shift as I click another. And now we have them, and I'm going to press group. So however you manage to get all of those, maybe some of you, you know, look, if I, actually another way, I could have selected right here and wouldn't have got the box and would have got everything else. Okay, now, how do we mirror this? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this, and you're going to go to edit and duplicate. Be careful. Don't go to design and duplicate. That makes a whole new file. So you're going to have this one and a copy of this drawing. Don't do that. Go to edit and duplicate. Now, look at the screen. It doesn't look like a whole lot happened there, did it? But watch what happens when I press the arrow keys. The copy that we just made is actually hiding perfectly inside of the other one. You just can't see it. Look as I move the arrow keys. It's actually there. But you can see the problem. The hip is backwards. It needs to be mirrored. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to adjust. A lot, and instead of a line, we're going to go to mirror. Okay, now you get options. All of these little bars will, will mirror it one way or the other. If you just mouse over without clicking, it'll show you what it's going to do. Whoops. That looks like the one we want. This is not. This would flip it backwards upside down this is the one we want and now we have a copy of that leg that's perfectly now it's not lined up perfect so I'm gonna move it in now look like how do you line up the hips together well look if you look at this hip over here the middle of the hip is here it's not there it's actually out a little bit so I'm gonna have to push this in until see that see the shape here this little point of the red box it looks almost the same here that looks great now what I want to do is I want to change the pose of this leg. So I'm going to double click this group and get inside to edit it. See how there's this little box? Now I'm like trapped inside the group's little world. I'm just editing that. So you can tell because it, that box holds this whole group. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, hold down shift here, and I got all this except for the hip. And I'm going to rotate it back a little bit. And, of course, I'm going to want to move it back with the arrow keys a little bit. And now I'm going to grab the lower parts, the foot. See, I keep them together all at once until I change them a little bit at a time. And I'm going to just rotate those three just a little bit. And then I need to move it back, otherwise it wasn't going to look right. You know what? I feel like I could move it up a little bit here, too. 
hey, that looks great. Look at this. I took something and now it matches up like this piece looks like this piece and so forth. But they're in a little bit different pose because very seldom do animals stand perfectly with all their legs exactly the same. This looks a little bit more realistic. Okay, so let's go through and just review that real quick again. Again, to recap it real quick, we just go edit and duplicate. I like pressing control D. Hold down control and press D. It's a shortcut. I like to move with the arrow keys because you can move it straight over so it doesn't get out of line. Then you're going to go to adjust mirror until you find the one that works. Then what you can do is get inside of here and you start editing things and moving them just a little bit with the spinner. Remember, if you keep the spinner on the inside of the circle, it makes big, huge clicks. If you go on the outside, you can get it exactly like you want it. And that's where I want mine. So something like this. All right, enjoy.